In this video, I'm going to answer the questions, is it safe to sell put options? What are the risks of selling a put option? And is selling put options a good idea? Hello everyone and welcome back to My Life of Learning. My name is Randy Perez. Please know that I am not a financial advisor and this video is not meant to be investment advice of any kind. I am, however, a 22 plus year stock and option trader as well as real estate investor. Selling put options is my absolute favorite way to generate income in the stock market. So today I'm going to address the question, is selling put options safe? As you're going to see, selling put options can be an awesome tool if you use it properly. However, if used improperly, then as Warren Buffett has called them in the past, put options can be weapons of mass destruction on your account. I will show you how to use options properly to generate awesome cash flow and also how to avoid using them in an improper way in your account. Before we get started, I just ask one thing of you. Please hit the like button to support this channel. I'm about to give you some really awesome information I know you're going to find great benefit in. So if you appreciate the kind of material I provide for you on this channel, please support it by hitting the thumbs up like button. Thank you for that. Let's get started. I'm sure most or all of you have seen the warnings similar to the one here on the screen. Many times when new traders see these warnings, they just click off and forget about ever learning how options work. But I'm here to tell you that option trading, although it can be risky, it can also be safe and extremely financially rewarding. I'm going to show you both sides of option trading now. First, is selling put options safe? The answer to that question is, it can be. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say, for example, that you've been watching AT&T stock for a while. You've seen it bouncing along here on the daily chart around us, green 50 moving average. You see that it's now broke out above not only the green 50 moving average, but also it's above the red 200 moving average as well. You look at the top of the left side of the chart and see that back in March of last year, it was trading around $40 per share, and your gut tells you that AT&T is about to take off. So how can you profit from your theory? Well, you could always buy the stock outright. But as option traders, we like to get paid no matter what happens in the market. Let's say that you're new to option trading. You've been hearing about this strategy called selling put options, and you ask yourself, is it the right time to sell put options in AT&T? Now please know that this is not a recommendation on my part, but this is a trade that I'm in right now. As you can see here on the far left, I've actually sold the April 16th $30 put options. On the far right, you see that I was paid on average right at $1.01 per share for selling those put options. But is this a good trade? Well, we don't know how this trade is going to turn out. We'll find out over the next month. But I can tell you this, that this position, it's only one of 34 short option positions I have on right now in our main option trading account. And even more importantly, if all 10 contracts of AT&T were assigned to us at $30 per share, we have the cash to buy that stock or $30,000 worth of AT&T stock. That $30,000 will only equate to a 4.3% of our overall portfolio. You see, one of the reasons why selling put options has got such a bad rap is because you can use massive amounts of leverage when you sell options. And that leverage amplifies not only the good returns, but the market moves against you, your bad returns as well. Personally, I don't use leverage or margin anymore. I make sure that I have the cash available to buy every single position that I sell put options in. So the question is, is the fact that I've sold 10 contracts of AT&T at $30 per share, is that a safe trade? Well, I would say yes. Why? Well, I have the cash to cover the position 100% as well as all the other short put option positions I've sold in my account. I'd also be happy if AT&T was put into my account at $30 per share because I would begin collecting that 7% dividend and turn this position into a covered call position. That would allow me to begin collecting covered call option premium on top of the dividend. Let me show you when selling put options would not be a safe trade. First though, let me tell you, I don't keep all of my cash in one account. This Interactive Brokers is my main option trading account. However, I don't keep all my cash in this one account. I try to keep that cash spread around in multiple accounts just in case one of those brokerages decides to say, go out of business or not allow me to make a trade because the market crashes or something I've never thought of before. So keep in mind that although I don't have enough cash in this account to cover every one of my option positions in this account, I do have the cash set aside in other accounts that are dedicated as cash holding companies that I can move over to cover these positions. So I showed you the trade I'm currently in with AT&T. And I told you that in my opinion, it's a good solid trade. When might this be a bad trade? 
Notice up top here in the blue box, the Interactive Brokers is saying that I have $311,795 cash available in my account. However, if you follow the red curved arrow down to the red box, notice how much in positions they will allow me to trade using margin. Over $2 million in positions. Now $300,000 is definitely a wad of cash. But the fact that I could use margin to be in over $2 million worth of positions while we only have $300,000 cash in our account, well, you can begin to see why some people say that trading options are dangerous and why Warren Buffett called them weapons of mass destruction. Oh, by the way, speaking of Warren Buffett, he does exactly what we're doing on this channel. He also sells put options. So why would he call them weapons of mass destruction if he uses them? The reason why he said that is because as you can see, you can use tremendous amounts of leverage if you choose to when you sell put options. As I was preparing for this video, I was curious exactly how much leverage Interactive Brokers would allow me to use on this one trade. Well, let me just show you how big a trade they will allow me to do. Now remember, we have a little over 311,000 cash in this account right now. And we currently have 34 other option positions. Here you see in the red box that we are currently using $85,833 of that $311,000 cash in our current short option positions. So that leaves us only $225,962 for this AT&T trade. So how much in put options will Interactive Brokers allow me to sell with that remaining cash? I play with it for a minute and then I typed in 395 contracts. As you can see towards the top in the red writing where it says sell 395. You see below there in the red shaded area, it rejected that number of contracts. But at the bottom of the red shaded area where it says in blue, click here to update the order with suggested size 394, it's telling me that they will allow us to trade 394 contracts of this $30 strike AT&T put option. So let's do it. Now I've changed it to 394 contracts as you can see in the top left corner where in the red it says sell 394. Interactive Brokers will actually allow me to sell 394 contracts or 39,400 shares of AT&T put options at that $30 strike price. If all those shares got assigned to us, those shares would cost us $1,182,000. That's a problem because I only have $225,962 worth of capital available. Now I like making money probably like you and more money is always better than less money. So how much could I make if I did this trade? Look down at the red box on the left. Here you see that if we did this trade and it was executed at around $1.10 per share, we'd pocket just over $43,000. Well, that sounds pretty great, right? And notice over in the purple box that the maintenance margin would only go from where it's currently at, $85,833, and this trade would increase it by the next column, $295,674. So after this trade, our total maintenance margin requirement would then be $381,507. So the $43,000 we would pocket from selling these put options sounds pretty awesome, right? But is this a smart trade? I hope all of you are saying, no, Randy, don't do it, bad idea. You see, if I hit this button and made this trade, I go from a smart trade of 10 contracts that I'm currently short in AT&T to setting off a nuclear weapon in my option trading account. It's just a ticking nuclear time bomb in my account. And there are multiple reasons for that. But the biggest one is that I've switched my situation from one in which I can afford to buy the stock to a situation where if AT&T moves against me, we could totally wipe out our entire account very quickly. One of the questions I said I would answer at the beginning of this video was, is selling put options safe? As you've seen here, selling put options can be safe if you're selling it in stock that you'd be happy to own and you have the cash to buy the stock. However, as you increase the amount of leverage and margin that you're using to make option trades, that same stock that I had 10 contracts in, AT&T, which was a safe and smart trade in my opinion, it could turn into a really bad situation really fast if I traded 394 contracts. Now I know most of you would not go to this extreme, but it's important to realize what could happen to your account if or when the market moves against your positions when you use leverage. That's why Warren Buffett calls option trading weapons of mass destruction. Because if they're not used properly, they can absolutely blow up and annihilate your account. The fact is that Warren Buffett, he sells put options just like we do on this channel. He just makes sure that he has the cash to buy those stocks if they were put into his account. By the way, if that was really useful, what I just share with you, then I would love it if you just give this video a like. Just bump the like button and thank you very much. You see, if you sell a put option, you're taking on someone else's risk. 
by selling those 10 contracts at $30 per share, I'm selling someone else the right to put 10 contracts at 100 shares per contract or 1,000 shares of AT&T stock into my account at $30 per share. So for example, if for some reason AT&T went down to $20, they can still sell me those 1,000 shares at $30 per share at any time before expiration day, which is April 16th. And I would have to buy them at that price. Now there are several strategies you can use if a stock were to move against you. And I'll put some links in the description below to videos I made to show you how to handle those situations when stocks move against your short put option positions. But for the sake of the situation here, let's just say that we didn't do anything to adjust this position. The risk when we sell put options is that the stock declines below the strike price that we sold a put option at, and we are forced to buy the stock at that higher price than what it is currently selling for in the market. Now don't get me wrong, selling put options is my number one favorite strategy of all time when it comes to trading. And in just a minute, I'm going to tell you why I think selling put options is such an awesome strategy. But just know that when you sell put options, you're taking on someone else's risk. As a result, you absolutely can lose money selling put options. You see, you're taking on the risk of a stock declining below the strike price that you sold. So if that's the case, then why would you ever sell a put option? One nice thing about selling put options is that you get paid up front. So for example, if I did that trade for 394 contracts, which would equate to 39,400 shares, I would receive that $43,000 up front as soon as I made that trade. But I then have to deal with what happens over the next month while I wait for April 16th to roll around. Now it may go my way, or it may not. How much better it is though to sell 10 contracts that I've sold here and to pocket my $1,010 and be in a trade that would not cause me to lose any sleep over the next month or so. If AT&T ends up above that $30 per share on April 16th, I get to keep the $1,000. Decide if I want to use that $30,000 in capital that we had set aside for that trade to do another trade in AT&T or put it into a new and, and different stock. Another reason why selling put options in stocks that I wouldn't mind owning is that the returns are actually pretty good. Over the past year, we've averaged over 20% annualized cash on cash non-leverage return in this option trading account. That includes mostly selling naked put options in stocks that are at prices that we'd be happy owning that stock at. Then if the stocks are put into our account, we turn the position into a covered call strategy and begin selling covered call options against the stock that we own, as well as collecting dividends if it's a dividend paying stock. Now I know some of you watching this channel don't have large accounts. Maybe you're new to option trading and you're just getting started. And I know that there are situations in which you almost have to use leverage or margin in order to trade options. If you're starting out with a small account, I'll put a link in the description below to a video on how to trade options with a small account. But the important thing to remember is that no matter what account size you have, is that you need to be very careful if you decide to use margin and leverage. Selling put options can be a safe and awesome strategy to use if it's used properly. However, if it's used improperly, you can absolutely explode a weapon of mass destruction in your account. As option traders, we want to keep playing this game forever. Please make sure that if you decide to trade options that you know exactly what you're doing and trade them in a manner that you can keep playing this game along with us. If you'd like to receive alerts as soon as we make trades similar to the trade I talked through in AT&T, consider the benefits of becoming a patron at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see when is the best time to sell put options and how much money you can make by selling put options, check out the video in the link above in the description below entitled, When Should You Sell Put Options? Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.